Hey, this is Mike from Prac Tactical. Uh, just uh, coming along a little bit on some of the knife projects I got going on here. Um, what I got in front of you here is a bar of 1080 plus steel. Um, you can look right there. I got it from Alpha Knife Supply. Cost me seven bucks for the piece of steel. Um, like I said, these are just practice steels. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do with the 1080 plus, and then we'll see about moving into some higher quality steel. Um, the next thing I got going on here is I'm gonna kind of change out my Dremel here for this uh, this cutoff wheel. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out these blade blanks um, and see what I can do. Um, you know, I'm not gonna grind them yet because I got some belts on the way, but we're gonna cut out this uh, this knife and kind of get a feel for it, see how it feels in the hand, and um, we'll get that going. So. Um, you know, I might show you a little bit of the grinding if I can do any of it with uh, holding my iPhone here and uh, and uh, show you how I'm going to grind here. But um, I'll definitely kind of when I'm done here, I'll show you the the finished blade blank and kind of how it feels in the hand and how I like it. Um, this is going to be a little neck knife, and this is going to be more of a full size fixed blade and uh, that for everyday carry. Um, when I get done with these I'm going to do some Kydex sheaths and I'll show you how I do that as well. But um, that's not till the blades are all finished and all that so that'll be uh, probably a couple of videos in the future. Alright I'm going to get started. Okay, here's my progress so far. Um, did a little bit of grinding with that cutoff wheel, and I thought I had some extra wheels, and I ran out. So I will be headed to Lowe's to grab a couple more of those Dremel cutoff wheels. Give me a big package if I could. They're a little expensive. I think I got five of them for like four dollars. Um, five of them for five dollars, and basically I usually get about one blade out of. Uh, uh, one of the wheels will cut out one of these, but um, I actually on my last wheel there, I kind of twisted my arm a little bit while I was grinding and it broke the wheel. So there you go. I got to find a better way to do this, guys. So any suggestions out there? I know there's a lot of knife makers out there. Um, kind of rough. I cleaned up the edges a little bit. Um, I got a 40 grip, 40 grip belts coming that'll help me shape them a little smoother and easier but I do have this uh, Ricasso area to cut out and I'm thinking as I'm holding this right now that uh, that part's going to dig into my hand a little bit and create a hot spot so I'm um, probably going to round that off and um, like that area right there I'm going to just kind of bring it around and round it and maybe make a glass breaker right there or something like that so um, that's my progress so far um, wish I could have got more done for you guys, but, uh, um, next video here I'll show you that all cleaned up and finished, so, alright, thanks, have a good night. Alright, here's what I got so far, um, got the blade partially cut out, I, uh, broke one of my cutting wheels, and I'll need to go grab some more of those from Lowe's. Um, see it's kind of rough, that's the kind of cut you get, but I'll smooth that out with my grinding belts when they get here. Um, I was feeling this in the hand, like this kind of, and I was noticing that part kind of digs into the palm of my hand, so probably going to round that off a little bit, and uh, make that a little more comfortable. Um, I do still want to have a little glass break around the end of that, so I'll leave a little bit of metal protruded uh, after I put the handle scales on. But that's kind of what uh, I got so far, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.